Hello guys, alright, so you're welcome back. Um, today we are looking at module 2, setting up your work speed. So by the end of this one, you're going to understand how to customize Photoshop preferences for efficient workflow, organizing your panels and workspace layout for your retouching. Then we'll equally consider some essential keyboard shortcuts in Photoshop. We'll be giving you a list of all the shortcuts we can gather then we will not, we'll not be covering everything in the video but we'll be giving you a list and a guide so you can just simply look at them and know exactly what each one does like something like this yeah but when we get there we're going to just scroll over to that all right so let's go back to photoshop and work on our work screens and our interface so all right i think i'm going to remove this now let me just clear it up so it to be empty so you can understand me, we can just use things to keep our workspace working. So I'm going to delete everything here. Let me minimize the tool. Take a bit smaller. Let me see if I can do that. And drag it out. All right, so. Let me just read it. Well, that's here. Yeah. Window space. All right, so. Let me just remove it. So we'll make sure that... Okay, so when you come into Photoshop and you find your workspace empty like this. Find your workspace empty like this. Now, Photoshop have some presets that they already give to you depending on what you are doing. If you go right here, you're going to notice what they wrote down. You'll see Essential, 3D, Graphics and Web, Motion, Painting, Photography. So if you go down, you'll see Reset Essential, New Workspace, the New Workspace. So what this simply means is that Photoshop assumes that you, your reason of coming into Photoshop must be for one of these. Is that you're a photographer or you're into uh, digital painting or you're into motion graphics or you're doing proper graphics and web design or you're into 3D uh, animations or like you're working on 3D models. Essentially, it's just the basic one that has some of these things compiled into it. So depending on the purposes you are coming into Photoshop, let's say that you are coming into Photoshop for photography, retouching, and all of that. So assuming it's assuming that that's what we are doing, considering the uh, content and context of the class, we are going to be selecting photography. So when you click on photography, it's going to automatically reset the whole screen. If you notice everything we've deleted, has been recovered do you get so it's going to automatically set the whole screen to suit you as a photographer to work with it let's say that we are uh into graphics and web design when we click on it it's going to reset and adjust everything to fit us as a graphic designer at web designer. let's look at other ones so if you go into it let's say we're into motion and we click on motion that is motion graphics and video editing and all of that it's going to reset and give us everything we need to suit for uh motion graphics so each of them has its own let's try 3d and see what this workspace looks like so it said photoshop 3d features have been discontinued many 3d features are not working properly click to learn more so that's you can take your time to check i think it's because my internet is not properly connected but we'll do that later so you can press ok to take that out of course you can go to 3d here to load up the options that's if you are working with it anyways so let me just go to uh go back to what we are doing hold on i think we are having a little system malfunction right here all right so just give me a minute let me get this fixed up and see what we have all right sure Edit this, double this. Uh, what's going to be loaded? Behind that is E. Oh, 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 come, I will. In, yeah, see the picture, see the picture I did before. First thing, picture that, oh, then it. All right, so those. I'm where is you all know? I 
All right, guys. So uh, we had a little system malfunction, so we had to restart the whole store so that it will flow uh, smoothly. All right. So going back to working on our workspace. So that was 3D that did the whole stuff. I don't know what was wrong. All right. So let's go straight to our photography. All right. So we have photography workspace. This is called workspace. Everything on your screen right now, the way your tools is arranged, the way your layers, your adjustments and your sliders are arranged, is all called workspace. So what if you find yourself in this kind of situation? Let me just make you look unorganized and all of that. Okay, so you have to drag stuff around to get it working. Maybe you, you needed to get another stuff out. Okay, so you are not seeing something clearly. Okay, so what if you find yourself in this kind of situation? What do you do? You find yourself in this kind of situation where all your stuffs are flying around in Photoshop. It's not organized anymore. So instead of taking your time to drag all of them back and stack them up the way it should be, there is a pick six tool in Photoshop called Reset Workspace. So when you say Reset Workspace, Photoshop automatically rearranges all of this for you. So how to locate that is just go back to your workspace down here. And instead of selecting photograph, it just goes reset photograph. So when you say reset photograph, it's going to take all of them and put them back to where they should be and you are good to go. So that is simply all there is to your workspace. So moving forward from there, moving forward from there, let's look at uh, essential keyboard shortcuts for your retouching and all of that. So this is some shortcuts we are going to be looking at. This is some shortcuts we are going to be looking at. We are going to be looking at the ones that are not quite complex so that you can understand it fast. So go to, let's dive into Photoshop or rather, let's just open it and take them one by one. So the first thing we are going to be looking at is adjusting image size. So it says Control Alternate I for window users or your own or for Apple users rather. Your own is at the edge of the right hand corner. So you can see the, the uh, Apple translation of all the shortcuts we are going to be mentioning. So I'm going to be mentioning Windows. So you can just be looking up the Apple own to suit your own workflow. Okay, so the first one we're going to be looking at is said adjust image size. So let's go to Photoshop. It says Control Alternate I. So let's go to Photoshop and click. Control or turn it I. Let's see what it loads up for us. So this is called image size. This image size is the resolution of your image. The where you have the full details of the how sharp your image is, whether it's blurry, whether it's not blurry, how many megabytes the image is containing in your system on your workload. This is where you find so you can from here change the size to whatever you want it to be. Let's say that the picture is too heavy for your uh, laptop or your desktop or your system to process. You can reduce the resolution or the resolution is too low. Like I'm having 72 res here. Let's say I want to now start working with uh, 150 res. You can just type in 115. You are going to notice that it's going to blow out the image and all of that. And the size has automatically increased. So it was 68 MB. Now it's now 298 MB. Of course, I do not want to try that to avoid system malfunction. So let's go back to the 17. It was. It's now it's now down to 74 MB. So if I press OK, if I press OK, it's going to resize the image. Notice I shifted it back a little. That means I went a little lower than the original size. If I took the number a little higher, it's going to push it out a little. So that is simply what it means to resize your image. So the next thing we are looking at right here is uh, close all open docs. I do not want to do that. It's going to shut down Photoshop. So if you want to shut down Photoshop, let's say you have a lot of documents open in your Photoshop, you want to shut it down, just press Ctrl or turn it W. Or if you want to remove just one, press Ctrl W. If there's anything you want to copy in Photoshop, you have to use Ctrl C. If you want to create a new document, use Ctrl N. So let's look at it together. Ctrl C and Ctrl N. Okay, so I, let's say I made a selection around her eyes like this, and I want to place this eyes over the forehead. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press Ctrl C. 
sorry that was control b that i pressed i pressed control c so it's copied this particular selection is copied i can remove this and press control v it's going to paste it okay so let's just open a new document so it allows us all right so here it is so when i press control v control c allows you to copy control v allows you to paste so i can now drag it and place it over here okay so let me do it in a real time scenario let me find a way to close her eyes excuse me let me just close her eyes is this is not professional i'm just going to feel content hour so i want to mess with the eyes over there all right so the eyes is closed the eyes is closed use your patch tool take care of it a little more sorry this is not part of the class but i just wanted to show you a quick way to use that okay so let's say she the the person eye is back at the other end or that when you took the picture the flash because of the radiation radiations and all of that one eye had to close and the other one was open so this is the way to quickly fix it and not, not having no need of snapping another picture maybe uh, that was too big you are in a, you are doing an event you don't have the opportunity to uh, take the picture again this is a big way you can just fix that problem so just select the eye like that, that was a very, very rough one select the eye you can choose your feather already my own is in 15 over here but we'll talk about that later press ctrl c it copies the eye you can deselect press ctrl v to paste the eye for you so you can just drag the eye one minute okay so you can just drag the eye from here let's look at our eye layer all right so you can just drag the eye from here and place it over here make it a bit smaller make it over so press ctrl c and right click on it save clip horizontally so that you can uh fit the eyebrows and the eyelash and all of that perfectly so take your time you can now take your time and refine all the mask and all of that but that is not what we are doing but this night and just copy objects from one place to another around photoshop that is what that uh particular shortcut does for you ctrl c ctrl v copy and paste so let's go back close the eye let's go back all right so you can press ctrl n to load a new document to load a new document so you can just select what you want to work with over here press create to go into open up a new document for photoshop that is what that short called ctrl n does for you so let's look at something else a quick one so a sports document when you are done with your work you can just press ctrl shift alternate w it's going to export your document for you the select current selection ctrl d cut saved in ctrl x create a new layer ctrl shift n so all of that you can take your time that's what we said we're going to be dropping the document for you take your time go into photoshop and understand what each of these shortcut dots for you you can just look at each one go and press it in photoshop and see what it gives to you so this will be the end of this particular tutorial or class take your time practice 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 before you move over to the next one to make sure you understand it perfectly thank you for sticking around see you in our next class